My name is Ryan Halsney. I was born in Minneapolis and I've lived in Summit County for over five years. Uh, about a year before I moved to Summit County, I spent a few months in Italy um, where I studied Renaissance art. And me being a graphic design student at the time, I really got deep into photography and sketching and uh, just walking the walk of Michelangelo and all my favorites. And uh, that really just opened my eyes to um, how we're all influenced by our culture and how ourselves can influence the culture and the people around us with the ideas that we you know, express in art or just communicating in the information age of today. Uh, so since I moved here, you know, Silverthorne or Summit County in general is really a small town community and uh, being an artist and graphic designer, I guess I saw a niche in, or just an absent of uh, people that are doing graphic design and, you know, doing their small business or side hustles. And then after a couple years of doing it, I was like, oh, I was so wrong. There are so many other people just like me who are just, they're creative in their own way. We're here for some outdoor reason but really we all have our passions and living in Silverthorne, you know, just living the mountain life where I could do all those fun activities as well as um, be creative and, you know, make a name for myself. And, you know, if I stayed in a city or a small suburb, you know, I feel like I wouldn't have had the same opportunities where the small town was just so supportive up here and I uh, can't be more thankful for all the the people that have given me an opportunity. Biggest one is Angry James. Uh, it's where I bartend a couple times a week. I'm also the retail manager where I come up with you know, beer labels or t-shirts. I mean, that's really the biggest impact that I've made. You know, I started at the Dan Brewery and I also did their labels, but then growing into a brand new business as opposed to one that's been around for 20 plus years, um, it really gave me the chance to start fresh, you know, create a brand from the ground up, so when that opportunity came knocking, I had to take it. Just having that 20-foot monster painting up there that I was broke my back over, you know, spent hundreds of hours on top of scaffolding. You know, that work has been paying off every single day. I call it a sipper. That painting is meant to look at for a long period of time, an entire beer's worth, I'd say. That's really what that whole mural was about and what I try to capture the culture of Summit County. I've been uh, a local coffee drinker at Red Buffalo since I moved here. I was definitely on a first name basis with all the baristas. They knew my order. One day Aaron approached me and was ready to get a new mural painted in their coffee shop and of course I had to jump on it. I was really excited to try and capture um, that different side of the community of Silverthorne, those regular coffee drinkers. Obviously we're up in the mountains, the coffee doesn't come from here. Um, so it was kind of a fun opportunity to teach people as well as, you know, make something cool. So we're all dealt a different hand in life. Uh, we're all really playing a different game by a different set of rules, depending who raised us or where we came from. Um, so you really think about how you were influenced growing up and how that has made you who you are. Um, but then when you flip the, the page on that and you're the one influencing other people, whether that's putting art into the world or just general communication, uh, that's what really got me excited about joining the Silverthorne Art Board. So I just wanted to be involved in making the culture of Summit County a creative space that caters to uh, those creative locals that are just trying to hustle and you know, follow their passion as well as live in a really cool and beautiful place.